welcome back ladies and gentlemen to let's play space quest chapter one the Syrian encounter and let's continue the game where we last left off which is we are now in the Syrian's mother ship and we are about to destroy it and the star generator and we got the disguise of a Syrian officer uniform which allows us to move freely in the ship let's see what Guard. Hmm, anything else? Self-promoting. Okay. Hmm, and now where was it? Well, let's start walk with the guard, start with the guard. around so we need to find the start generator but before we do that oh well I, we actually need a weapon now I have to wonder I do know when I see it where the ve weapon vendor but where is the ah this is just where we came out okay so we don't need to go here wonder what's that over there I think that leads that was where it lead. There's the star generator. Okay. So that's where. Remember when we read the cartridge in the desert? We now have the activation code which we need. Or was it the self destruct code? Well, in any case, to destroy the star generator. Ah, and this is the weapons vendor area. Okay, let's save the game. Let's make. 
because we checked in the last video our pockets and we have an ID card which al allows us to get a weapon but we also need those grenades over there so first we need to go and talk with the robot mm. show card and as droid goes away get grenade that's why I save it we only need one there are two but we only need one Okay, so now we have the pulse rifle and the pulse ray, not pulse rifle. And as the game says, by pressing the F6, we can fire it. So we do get a little bit of combat. Not much, but a little, as we escape once we set the self-destruct. Because Roger, as we're gonna refer him, is gonna do a little bit of a clumsy. But the reason why we got the grenade, because you get extra points by doing this. You could go downstairs and use the pulse ray to kill this guard. But you get the extra points by taking the grenade and dropping the grenade. Drop. Hmm. I'm gonna actually. Well, let's make a save here. Because once we go to the next screen, our cover will be blown. And this is a bit of a tricky because you have to react fast when firing the pulse ray. Use the pulse, pulse ray if we see a carrion. Okay, let's make a save once again. Because I think the Syrians appear randomly. I could be wrong, but I did press F6, but he was faster. And pay attention. save or I save well you know what I mean okay so there was nobody here this time Body. Okay, search body. Press. And now we need to enter the code. No. Oh, got stuck there. Look. Round, what is the look? Jenna, ah, panel, look, panel. Okay, and now we need to enter the code, which was six eight. I wonder, was it just press enter to ah, F6? <laughs> I didn't even read six, so it was. Six, eight, five, eight, and enter.
again. Let's make different slot just in case. I don't think there's actually any timer in here. Could be wrong, so let's find myself in this at least one to see just for the because I think you um, I'm not sure I think you might get a point maybe it's that elevator that I need to use, so let's haha I managed to kill one. Oh, I did get a point from that I think oh ah, and this is the escape shuttle <laughs> already did it. Okay, so let's save the game because once again now I I don't know if I had to do anything else in here or is it just oh yes. Yeah, this was the conclusion so this was a little bit of a shorter video but because I wasn't quite sure where the oh <laughs> good thing that I saved I didn't know that there's <laughs> I thought I had to go <laughs> the other way to get well <sighs> so I guess it's all I need to do is just get inside the ship and then we did it. First look around. Get in shuttle. Look shuttle. Okay. Press Space Quest Chapter 1 The Sarian Counter 
And yeah, this is one of those childhood games that I played back in the day when I was a little bit older and could actually type English. But yeah, and these are kind of fun little let's plays as they are. Well, enjoyable trip to memory lane for myself. But yeah, they are very difficult and just as other Sierra games, there are ways to hard lock yourself if you don't do certain things in specific order, like reading the cartridge and you could get all the way to the Sarian ship and not have to go code. So yeah, that would hard lock you and yeah, and other Sierra games and especially Space Quest 2, I have a recollection of getting hard lock and getting super mad about it back in the day. But I guess that's all I have to say. So what's next? Well, I decided since I managed to complete this game relatively quickly,